Hello, good people. Ladies, ladies, ladies. Hello to all my bankroll beauty bosses out there. It is your girl, Lena Lady Dora here. It is Saturday evening, and I wanted to come and drop in and just kind of share as I am writing down my expenses, writing down what I had left in my pocket, and I figured I would go ahead and just go ahead and add something to the challenges that I have going on. And as I always say, it's not how much or how big you have when you start, how big you start, it's just getting started. And although I've been started, I just want to continuously show that no matter what I have in my pocket, I am contributing to the challenges that I have going on. So I thought I'd bring you along so to, to those of you who are new to this channel, welcome, welcome, welcome to Walking Them Shoes YouTube channel. I am your host, Lena Lady Dar, founder of this wonderful organization. I love to say the host who matter the most. Most often I say that on my podcast. Uh, yeah, the girl, Lena Lady Dar, the host who matter the most. Uh, but to my returning subscribers, visitors, welcome. Thank you so much for coming back. Thank you for tuning in. It is just your girl here just coming to share some inspiration and to encourage those of you who are interested in taking your life to a new level, this is a great opportunity to do so. It is a great opportunity. It's no better time than now to get started. Again, I don't care if you were starting with just five, <coughs> excuse me, with just five dollars or a dollar. <coughs> excuse me. Again, again, I say over and over and over again, no matter where you are on this journey of becoming, if you're interested in Taking your life to a new level, it starts with the choices that you make today. The choices that you make today will ultimately affect you next week, next year, next month, however it will affect you. Just know that. So if you find yourself in a place where, hey, listen, I, I want to get my finances together. I need to get my finances in order. Stick around. Your girly and lady Dar, I got the tea for you. I got the tea for your fever, baby. We're going to bring that high fever down because we're going to bring those uh, bank accounts up. We're going to raise the funds and them accounts up and just get started. So I'm not doing a whole heck of a lot. Um, so this is what I had in my pocket today. Y'all hear me and taking a few deep breaths because <coughs> the girl is still a bit winded. Excuse me. Let's see what we have. Um, all right. Lower. Let's see what we have. I get a little bit of organization going on in here, y'all. How's y'all weekend going so far? Hope y'all are enjoying uh, your weekend. Your girl, Lena Lady Dar here. Actually did okay. Um, y'all, I'm so tempted. I'm so tempted to just put all these fives in my five dollar challenge, but I won't do that. I'm actually getting ready to go see my grandchildren, and I may sit aside a couple of dollars. I don't know. I'll sit aside. I don't know. I'll see. But I may go to my daughter. I am going to my daughter's, and I'm going to. Uh, allow them to be a part of the challenge because they love this. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. Whew. Y'all. 45, 32. For those of you who are not uh, the Brainiacs, 45, 55, 65, 75, 77, <coughs> excuse me, 77. <coughs> yeah. So here we go, y'all. Um, listen, to my bankroll bosses out there, y'all doing this challenge, not sure um, 
there's so many different ways that you can do this. And I haven't strategically sat down to say, I'm going to just specifically do this. Now I did say, um, I did create the $100 bill challenge for this bankroll boss challenge. <laughs> I did, and I am going to start this this week. I'm not going to start it right now. I'm going to start it this week, probably this coming. I think I'll do mine weekly. Hmm. I may do it weekly or I may do it bi-weekly. I'm not sure. But here's the challenge, y'all. Bankroll Beauty Boss $100 Bill Challenge. I just really have not figured out how I want to because I kind of wanted to incorporate my daughters in this. And if it to be, if for it to be a challenge, you gotta stretch yourself, right? So I'm I'm trying to come up. I'm trying to come up with something that uh, will work really good for them, you know, as well as any of you who are interested in doing this bankroll challenge. But I think we're going to do just a hundred dollar bill challenge. I'm not sure yet, but I did also, uh, if you, if you found, uh, had an opportunity to get the bankroll beauty boss business book 101, you'll see in there that are different challenges. And one of the challenges that are in there is the, the latte challenge. I did the latte challenge because I'm a coffee drinker. I do, you know, I, I drink coffee very rarely at home. I have it at home, but I know that it can save me money, but it's just something different sometimes. I'm a Dunkin' lover. I do love Wawa coffee. I do also go to the coffee shop across the street from my job in Center City. And you know, you pay a good penny for coffee lattes in Center City, okay? I'm talking like a good five to $7 sometimes. So here's a challenge challenge for you. Challenge yourself to not spend any money on coffee. Make it at home. Make it at your employer. I know some of the employers out there still have those regular coffee cups, but thank God mine's have a, a nice little Keurig machine with different flavors. So there you go. Here's a challenge for you. Here's another challenge for you. Um, and I do know, <coughs> excuse me, these will come inside of the bankroll boss challenge um, but for right now we working with 77 dollars like what 77 dollars 77 dollars is still good baby we are going to do something with this here all right so what we going to do how many times can we look let's see what we can do and you'll see hold on we got 77 dollars to put in the challenge but you're going to also see Today, I stopped at H&M and spent $38, $36. Wait, what? $38, sorry y'all, $38, yeah. Wait, so if I gave $35, Okay, my total was $33.98. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, that was the discount. I'm tripping, y'all. Okay, so my total was $33.98. All right. And I got back. I gave him $35 and I got back a dollar and two cents. All right, I was getting ready to say. All right, so I spent $33. We're going to round that off to $34. Y'all, y'all just gonna see me do my um my tracker. My no spin tracker. We on point on point no spin tracker for the month of March. Been doing pretty good, and I think I've been doing pretty good with this because I was out sick. I was sick. So I really wasn't out like that. That's probably why, but today is Saturday. And listen, with the no spend tracker, I had a lot at myself, $100 for this week, right? I really didn't go nowhere. I really didn't spend no money. Actually, Sunday starts the beginning of the week. Most times I'll do Monday, <coughs> excuse me. But Sunday, my daughters and my grands and I, we went out to dinner. Um, and I spent $49.36. But today I spent $33.98, wow. Hmm. 
And so when I spend money, I normally highlight it pink. These are the colors that I chose for this month, pink and green. To me, green means no spend. That means you keep that money in your pocket. Um, pink means that it went out the door. Last month, I was using orange for my spending. This month, I'm using pink. And I'm just going to mark that I did spend money this, today. I think I still kind of pan out really good. What y'all think? $33.98 at H&M. I still come out, if I lied to myself $100 for this week, I still come out pretty good. $49.36 plus $33.98. $83.34. Woo! Okay. So total of $83.34. If I lie to myself, that $100, right? Minus $83.34. I still have $16.66. Woo! Y'all, look. Y'all don't see that as a big thing. It might not be a big thing to y'all, but the girl, listen, if I lotted $100 for the week and I didn't go over that $100, that is good. That is real good. This tracker really helps to keep me on point, y'all. I just want to encourage y'all. I just want to really encourage y'all to learn to save. It feels so good. It, it really does. This $77 right here might not be a lot, but guess what we get ready to do? We are getting ready to put some money away. Um, no, we're not going to do the challenge. I want to do the $100. I'm going to start with that. I put monies in there and um, let's start with this here. Let's just do our challenge, baby. Where them and marker at? So we got 77. All right, let's start with $15. We want to do $15. We are going to put $15 away. $15. Let's see what else we can do. We got four. I don't want to do four because I don't have no more ones. Um, we could do 11. Let's do 11. We're going to get there, baby. The envelope challenge is going on. Here's $11. Let's put $11 in. And we're also going to do, I think I saw, oh, 12. I can't do 12. All right, but I can do 21. Again. <coughs> Excuse me. 21. No fried rice and chicken wings tonight. $21. We getting there, y'all. And I think I have a couple of extra dollars in my pocket for the overflow and church giving tomorrow. That's important. All right, so what are we working with? Why did I do it that way? Dang. We got $30. Let's see. Oh, ooh, where's 30? Y'all see 30? Uh, 30 is marked off already. Dang, 31. I don't have another dollar. Okay. We got 25. Let's do 25. And the reason why I chose to do 25 is because I will put this $5 in my $5 challenge. Okay, so here's 25, and we are good to go, y'all. Put that little $77 away. The girl is good. That is the $100, I'm sorry, 100 envelope challenge. This $5 will go into my $5 savings challenge. 
okay? Listen, y'all, it's your girl, Lena Lady Dara here, founder of this wonderful organization. I wanna bless someone. I want to really, truly bless someone. And I need to know who is interested in doing the bankroll boss challenge. Who is interested in doing the bankroll boss challenge? You will be blessed. I have something for you. I need the very first two people, the very first two people to comment, I'm in. The very first two people to comment and say, I want in on the bankroll boss challenge. I got you, okay? It's your girl, Lady Lady Dara here. It's about, it's our winning season. It is about elevation. And how else can we elevate? If we're working on ourselves spiritually, we're working on ourselves physically, we're working on ourselves emotionally, financially. Listen, we come in full circle here, y'all. We are coming full circle here. So I want to encourage all of you who are tuned in right now. Listen, it is about you. It is about you and your relationship with God, your relationship with money, your relationship with yourself. Are you happy with yourself? Are you are you happy with the decisions that you're making? You know, a lot of us in the past have made some mistakes. And listen, we're not going to keep beating ourselves up, beating ourselves over the head with the same old nonsense. Forgive yourself. Let's move on. We made mistakes in the past, financially, spiritually, emotionally, physically. We made some mistakes. Forgive yourself and move on. And let's get it together. I wish you could see my face. But let's get it together, okay? I'm your girl, Lean Lady Dar here, founder of this wonderful organization. Be blessed, y'all. Before I go, I need you to do these things. I need you to hit the like button. I need you to comment. I need you to subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. And then I also need you to share. It is about elevation. It's about growing, y'all. Come on, we on this journey of becoming and we getting the finances together. Oh, yeah, and you know what? Forgot to even share with y'all. Hold on. We did, uh, over the past couple of months, we knocked down two bills, right? Snowball effect. I picked up another bill of mine. It is um, my student loans are some of them are um, private lenders and some of them are through the educational system, AES, American Educational System. Then they got this net thing also going on. But one of them was $760, y'all. I just made a payment. I separated that one. I took that away from the whole bulk of them because it's like probably six different lenders. Um, and it was it's 760. I just made the payment on Thursday or Friday. No, yesterday. No, I didn't. I made it on Thursday. But um, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> excuse me. Hmm. All right. Well, I made twenty five dollar payment. <coughs> excuse me, y'all. I made a twenty five dollar payment. Then now, now the balance is seven thirty five. I think I'm going to make this payment. It's, it's only $25. I What I did was I have a minimum payment of $25. Yes, when I made the payment the other day or yesterday, I did it for just the minimum. I'm going to actually roll in probably an extra $10 um, just to kind of keep that interest down and just to kind of hurry up and knock this balance down. I haven't given myself a date yet as to when I want to um, have this paid off, but the debt snowball tracker, y'all, after this 760 is paid, it's going to roll over into another debt that I have. Y'all, we knocking them out. We knocking them out, y'all. I know y'all hear the rain outside. So let me go ahead and just sit next to the window and just, y'all hear that? Let me just go ahead and sit next to the window and just kind of um, just relax and listen to the rain, y'all. I'm your girl, Lady Dara here, founder of this wonderful organization, Walking Them Shoes. Stay blessed, y'all.